deeply concerned about the situation in Georgia. The United States takes this matter very seriously. The attacks are occurring in regions of Georgia far from the zone of conflict in South Ossetia. They mark a dangerous escalation in the crisis. The violence is endangering regional peace, civilian lives have been lost, and others are endangered. This situation can be resolved peacefully. The Russian Federation has bombed the Georgian territory. Populated and peaceful areas have been bombed. It is nothing but a classic international aggression. Now in South Ossetia, peaceful people are dying. Women, children, older people. The majority of them are citizens of the Russian Federation. In accordance with the constitution and laws of this country, I am, as the president, obliged to defend the lives and dignity of our people, wherever they may be. South Ossetian capital Skin Valley. They've come to subdue a town and a region under separatist control. And for a while they claimed to have done it. But Russian armor, units of the 58th Army, were approaching from the Russian border, sent to reinforce peacekeepers and to protect a civilian population that Russia calls its own. I do not stand at my grave and weep, I am not there, I do not sleep, I am a thousand winds that blow, I am the diamond glint on snow, I am the sunlight on ripened grain, I am the gentle autumn rain. Georgian troops continue to pour into Skin Valley and it surrounds, the fighting goes on, plumes of smoke rising there above the capital of South Ossetia. Georgia insists it had no choice in taking this decision to restore order so-called inside South Ossetia. Georgia, meanwhile, says Russia's actions could bring the two countries into full-scale war. For those too afraid to leave South Ossetian villages and towns, war must surely be the only word to describe it.